What are the greatest dangers that the American people face today that impede a, the goal of a free society? There are five. The continuous attack on our civil liberties which threaten the rule of law and our ability to resist the onrush of tyranny. Number two, violent anti-Americanism that has engulfed the world. Because the phenomenon of blowback is not understood or denied, our foreign policy is destined to keep us involved in many wars that we have no business being in. National bankruptcy and a greater threat to our national security will result. Number three, the ease in which we go to war without a declaration by Congress but accepting international authority from the UN or NATO, even from, for preemptive wars, otherwise known as aggression. Number four, a financial political crisis as a consequence of excessive debt, unfunded liabilities, spending, bailouts, and gross discrepancy in wealth distribution going from the middle class to the rich. The danger of central economic planning by the Federal Reserve must be understood. World government taking over local and U.S. sovereignty by getting involved in the issues of war, welfare, trade, banking, a world currency, taxes, property, ownership of guns must be addressed. Happily, there's an answer for these very dangerous trends. What a wonderful world it would be if everyone accepted the simple moral premise of rejecting all acts of aggression. The retort to such a suggestion is always it's too simplistic, too idealistic, impractical, naive, utopian, dangerous, and unrealistic to strive for such an ideal. The answer to that is that for thousands of years, the acceptance of government force to rule over the people at the sacrifice of liberty was considered moral and the only available option for achieving peace and prosperity. What could be more utopian than that myth? Considering the results, especially looking at the state-sponsored killing by nearly every government during the 20th century, Estimated to be in the hundreds of millions of people, it's time to reconsider this grant of authority to the state. No good has ever come from granting monopoly power to the state to use aggression against the people to arbitrarily mold human behavior. Such power, when left unchecked, becomes the seed of an ugly tyranny. This, me this method of governance has been adequately tested and the results are in. The reality dictates we try liberty. The idealism of non-aggression and rejecting the offensive use of force should be tried. The idealism of government-sanctioned violence has been abused throughout history and is the primary source of poverty and war. The theory of a society being based on individual freedom has been around for a long time. It's time to take a bold step and actually permit it by advancing this cause rather than taking a step backwards as some would like us do today. Today, the principles of habeas corpus, established when King John signed the Magna Carta in 1215, is under attack in our own government. There's every reason to believe that a renewed effort with the use of the internet, that we can instead advance the cause of liberty by spreading an uncensored message that will serve to rein in government authority and challenge the obsession with war and welfare. I have come to one firm conviction after these many years of trying to figure out the plain truth of things. The best chance for achieving peace and prosperity for the maximum number of people worldwide is to pursue, pursue the cause of liberty. If you find this to be a worthwhile message, spread it throughout the land.